Formicol air crews launched two KC-135s to join the coalition and defeat a common enemy in contested Alaskan and Canadian airspace. Red Flag Alaska is an exercise that provides a realistic perspective on how to fight in an air-to-air -air conflict. It's the chance for our fighters to fight before they get over to the war. And our role as tankers is to allow that to happen. We keep them in the air longer so that they have more opportunity to practice. Throughout the two-week exercise, McConnell tankers will support Allied aircraft, including the Republic of Korea Air Force, Japan Air Self-Defense Force, enabling bomb runs, and dogfighting against the aggressors. Where we're overseas, uh, we do refuel more than just Americans. We do operate out in the battle space with our coalition brethren. It kind of further defines the meaning of one team and one fight. We're used to using that term across our own military, but now we're talking about other countries, other nations' uh, military as well that we operate with. It unifies us in a better way. The exercise will strengthen relations with our allies while providing valuable experience to our air crews. There is a chance that your newest boom operator might not have deployed yet. It's their first exposure. It increases their experience level because you'll have so many fighters that we have to work through the boom, offload gas to, and get them on their way to the fight. A uh, less experienced boom, their head might catch on fire just because they're not used to having to deal with all those receivers at one time. The end result will be a more effective delivery in warfighting support when the need to execute and sustain rapid global mobility arises. I'm Senior Airman Chris Thornberry, McCall Air Force Base, Kansas.